Hillary's trying to pull a fast one on gun control. That's what we'll talk about in today's video. In prior videos, I've warned you that on July 27th, Hillary, on behalf of the Obama administration, is going to sign on to the Arms Trade Treaty, ATT. And what that really is, is an international United Nations-based regimen of gun control throughout the world. Its nominal purpose is to stop small arms from being exported to other countries, to drug gangs, to uh, mob groups, to uh, uh, cartels uh, and dissidents in other countries. Uh, but its real purpose will be to do gun control because the only way they can stop it is they first have to inventory the guns and inventory who owns the gun. And once they get you to register the gun, it's a short step to saying, no, we're going to ban this type of gun and that type of gun and that type of gun. Uh, and the enforcement would become horrific. Um, and it would not be by act of Congress. It would be by an international treaty that the U.S. would be signatory to. And treaties, as I mentioned in a previous video, have the same standing as a constitutional amendment. This would repeal the Second Amendment. We covered all of this in a previous video. I'm just summarizing it if you haven't heard it before, because nobody else is talking about it. So I was wondering, won't Congress defeat this treaty? And the NRA says that they have commitments from 58 U.S. Senators not to ratify this treaty. And all they need is 34 to block it, so they have almost twice the number that they need to defeat it. So why is Hillary signing a treaty that she knows is not going to be ratified? Why is Obama setting himself up for this defeat? Well, I thought about that for a while and I came up with an answer that will really scare you. Hillary knows that it's not going to get ratified. I bet Obama doesn't ever bring it up for a vote. Harry Reid won't schedule a vote on it. Even if they keep control of the Senate, they won't be able to ratify it. I don't think they'll be able, they'll try. So why is she signing it? Frank Gaffney told me, and I looked into this, and he's absolutely right. There's a thing called the Vienna Convention, which the U.S. signed and the Senate ratified. And it provides that when we sign a treaty, until it is either rejected by the Senate or renounced by a president, it remains in force, binding us based on the president's and secretary of state signature. So what's going to happen here is she's going to sign the treaty. They hope Obama gets reelected. They never bring it up for ratification vote because they know it's going to lose. And Obama does not renounce the treaty and the United States is bound by it. Thank you.